Hello everyone, welcome to the HSK2 standard course lesson 14. 你看过那个电影吗? I hope you still remember how we use 过, 过. Whenever you see 过 in a sentence, that means pass or it is used to indicate the past tense. Okay, so 你看过那个电影吗? In English we say, have you seen that movie? Have you seen that movie? And uh, in this uh, first uh, class of lesson 14, we'll focus on part 1 and 2. Alright, now let's get it started. Page 1. Uh, in this page, 我们有五个词汇. Listen, 我们有五个词汇 in this page. We have five new words in this page. So they are listed here. Alright, now let's start with the first one. Here, this one. 有意思, 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 meaning interesting or fun. 有意思, okay, 跟我读 one more time. 有意思, okay, 第二个, 第二个, 但是, 但是, 意思是 but or still. But or still. That's for 但是, 但是. Okay. 第三个, 虽然, 虽然, meaning although, although, 虽然. Okay. 第四个, 第四个词汇, 第四个词汇, it's a single word. 次, 次, 意思是 time, but pay attention here. Time, this one, um, which means this time is a matter word. It's not like the time we learned before as in like what time, okay? So here, this time is used as a matter word. 跟我读, 次, 次, 好, 第五个, 第五个词汇, 玩, 玩, 意思是 to play, to have fun. We say 玩, okay, pay attention. The last one, 玩. Alright, 这五个词汇跟我读, 有意思, 但是, 虽然, 次, 玩, Okay, that's all for the 词汇. And now I'd like to show you some uh, phrases on those words. The first one, um, this one, interesting or fun. So, 有意思, that means interesting or fun. So can we make a sentence like, learning Chinese is interesting. Learning Chinese is, uh, is interesting. First, you have to think of to learn, to study. And then second, how do we say Chinese language? So learning Chinese is interesting. This sentence is right here. 学汉语有意思. Okay, 有意思 meaning interesting or fun. 汉语, Chinese language. 学, or sometimes we can also say 学习, that means to learn or to study. So 学汉语, learning Chinese, 有意思, is interesting. Okay. This sentence, learning Chinese is interesting. Okay, the same sentence form. How do we say, uh, watching TV is interesting. Watching TV is interesting. Think of this one. Okay, now let's see the sentence. Watching TV is interesting. This sentence is here. 看电视有意思. 看意思是 to watch, to see, to look. 电视, TV, television, 有意思, interesting. So, 看电视有意思, meaning watching TV is interesting. Okay, that's how we use uh, interesting or fun in, uh, in some sentences. Now let's take a look on this one, time, when it's used as a matter word. Okay, first one, I'd like to show you this example here, once. Once, 
一次，一次，次 is a、uh, 今天的新词汇 meaning time as a matter word. 一 is a number, number. So 一次 that means one time. So we can also say once. So once or one time we say 一次 Now can you make the second example, which is uh twice? Yeah, twice or two times. Two times. It's right here. Twice, 两次两次 Pay attention. This number two, we don't we don't use r, we use 两 Okay. So these are the four uh phrases or sentences that I like to show you. Okay. Now we can move to the next page. 短语 phrases. So I just put the those four sentences or phrases together. Now let's go over those one more time. The first one, 第一个 learning Chinese is interesting. 学汉语有意思。第二个 watching TV is interesting. 看电视有意思。Just pay attention how I read the sentence. Okay, like where do I stop? Okay, 看电视有意思。Okay, number three, 第三个 once. 一次 ，and number four， 第四个 ，twice， 两次，两次。Okay, here, try to make other examples on your own. For example, ah,、uh, like for this word, interesting. So, except using learning Chinese or watching TV, you can think of、uh, something else. Like running is interesting. Running is interesting. Or maybe you can say. Ah,、uh, what、uh, ah, watching movie. Watching movie is in interesting. I think you are able to make those two examples. All right. As for this one, time, when it is used as a matter word, so it, except saying once or twice, you can try to make like、uh, three times or four times or five times on your own. Okay. All right. Now we can move to the text. The text one. In the classroom, in the classroom. So there are two people, and they are having a conversation. All right. The first sentence. 你看过那个电影没有 All right. 你 that means you. 看 to watch. 过过 indicate the past tense. 那个那个 I've told you how do we translate 那个 so many times. <coughs> 那个的意思是 that one, that one. 电影 movie. So 那个电影 together that means that movie, that movie. 没有没有 that means or not, not. So you watch that movie or not. And here 过 indicate the past tense. So, have you seen that movie or not? Or we can just say, have you seen that movie? Okay, next one. 没看过，没看过，没 a negative word. So, 没看过 I haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. 听说很有意思 Okay, 有意思 that means interesting. 很很有意思 that means very in interesting. 听说 I heard. So I heard it is very interesting. Next one. 那我们下个星期一起去看吧 First of all, but used at the end of sentence indicate an advice. Okay. All right. The first word 那那呃、uh, when we see 那 in the beginning of a sentence, uh I think the translation. Depends on the depends on the whole sentence. Okay, now when it is used as a single word, that means that. But here in the sentence, the meaning has changed. It means then, t h e n, then. Okay, so this sentence we say then, 我们 we, 下个星期星期 that means week, 下个星期 next week, 一起 together. 去 to go, 看 to watch. So then we next week together 
to go and see it. Okay, so the translation we can also say then let's go together to watch to watch it next week. And then the last sentence, 可以, 可以, to say that you agree with something. So 可以, OK. 但是我女朋友也想去. 好, 但是 is a 今天的新词汇. I hope you still re remember it. 但是 意思是 but or still. So but 我女朋友 女朋友, remember, girlfriend, 也想去, 也, that means also, or also, or to, 想去, 想, want, 去, go, so want to go, alright, 但是我女朋友也想去, 意思是, but my girlfriend also wants to go, 好, that's all for the text one, uh, now 跟我读, 你看过那个电影没有? 没看过,听说很有意思。那我们下个星期一起去看吧? 可以,但是我女朋友也想去。OK, okay, now we look at the English version. Have you seen that movie? No, I, I was told it is fantastic. And why don't we see it together next week? Okay, but my girlfriend also wants to go. How this is uh, the tax one. Now we can move to the tax two. The tax two takes place in the office. We can tell a man is on the phone. Okay, sentence one. 听说你去过中国,还想去吗? Okay, first one. 听说 I heard 你去过中国 去, that means go 过 indicate the past tense So 你去过中国 You have been to China 中国 还想去吗? 还 still 想去 Want to go 吗? Question Question mark So do you still want Do you still want to go? I heard you've been to China Do you still want to go? OK, B. 我虽然去过好几次 OK, 虽然是今天的新词汇 意思是 although, although 去过 Have been to 好几次 OK, first, 几次 I hope you remember how do we use 几次 in a statement sentence OK, it means few times few times and we are not sure how many times but we but so in that case we can say 几次 and here 好几次 好几次 that means quite a few times quite a few times so 我虽然去过好几次 although I've been there quite a few times 但是还想再去玩玩 so 玩玩 together the meaning doesn't change. It still means war, which is have fun. OK. 但是还想再去玩玩。但是, but, 还想, still want, 再去, go again, to have fun. So this whole sentence, 我虽然去过好几次,但是还想再去玩玩。The English version is, Although I've been there quite a few times, but I still want to go there again to have fun. And then the uh, sentence three. 那我们一起去吧. Okay, you see, 那, it comes again in the beginning of a sentence. So here we still translate it as saying then. So then 我们一起去吧. Then we go together. The last one. 好啊, okay. 到时候我给你打电话 OK 我给你打电话 I call you I'll call you 到时候 到时候 到 means arrive and 时候 means time so 到时候 that means time arrives time arrives which means like when the time is right I'll call you 
Okay, so that's all for the tax two sentences. 现在跟我读 first one. Uh, the first sentence. 听说你去过中国，还想去吗？第二个，我虽然去过好几次，但是还想再去玩玩。OK， 第三个 sentence， 那我们一起去吧。第四个，好啊，到时候我给你打电话。All right， that's all for the sentences. Now we can take a look at the English version. Isad, you've been to China. Do you want to go there again? Though I've been there several times, I still want to go for pleasure again. Let's go together. Great. I'll call you then. Okay. So、uh, that's the end of this class, and that's all for the part one and two. So I'll see you at the second class. Bye.